and now you simply have to put the charger into the charge port. Tesla logo flashes green. Hi there and welcome to Tapflower and welcome to my Tesla Model 3. You might have recently bought your own Tesla and you're planning to go on a long trip. Then it's really handy to know how to use the Tesla supercharging network. And in this video I'm going to show you how you use the Tesla superchargers both for a Tesla and a non-Tesla EV. So let's do it. The first thing you have to do is to make sure you have downloaded the Tesla app on your phone. You have to create an account and then of course register your credit card information to able to pay for the charging. And as you can see here I have the Tesla app on my screen and I have registered an account and I've entered my credit card details into the Tesla app so I'm ready to start charging. So now there are just a few simple things that you have to do to start the charging process. So here's the Tesla supercharger and now you simply take the charging cable out of the charger and go to your car and now you simply have to press the button on the supercharger or press the lid on the charge port to open it. So let's use the button on the supercharger this time around and the charge port opens and now you simply have to put the charger into the charge port and just wait a few seconds until the Tesla logo flashes green. And it's that simple. Just taking the charge cable out of the Tesla supercharger, opening the charge port and putting the charger into the charge port. So now you hear that the supercharger has started charging and you hear the noise from the supercharger. So it's that simple. I'll tell you again, just pull the cable from the supercharger, open the charge port and insert the charger. That's it. But what do you do when the charging is finished? Well, you can't stop the charging inside the car. Let's take a look. So inside the car you have this charging menu and on the on screen here you can simply stop the charging by pressing this button here and you can also unlock the charge port. This is one way but you can also do it outside by the supercharger. So let's do that. So by the supercharger you can simply press the same button as you used when you opened the charge port to stop the charging. And then you just pull the supercharger cable out and place it back into the supercharger. That's it. You're finished charging. And as you might have seen, the charge port automatically closed. So it's that simple. Since I have a Tesla, the supercharger will recognize my car and start the charging automatically. But if you have a non-Tesla, it's a little bit more difficult, but not that much. So let me show you. So you simply have to open the Tesla app on your phone. You have to click the little hamburger menu at the top right corner. Then you see charge your other EV. So let's press that. And here you will see the superchargers that are close by. So here I only see this one that I'm at in Keflavik, Iceland. So I press that. And then I simply say I want to charge here. I click that. In the listing here you will see all the superchargers in this location. So this supercharger is number 4A. So I simply have to find that number in the post numbers in the app. Let's see 4A. Here we have 4A and I simply press start charging and then you're instructed to plug in your car and start charging. I'm not sure it will work with my Tesla, but let's try it out and see what happens. And as you can see here, the car started charging as well. So even though I have a Tesla and went the non-Tesla way, it still worked. It's flashing green. And then of course, depending on your electric vehicle, 
it can differ how you stop the charging. And I'm not sure that the button on the Tesla charger will work to stop the charging on a non-EV, but you can definitely try it. But then it's probably just on the screen in your car and you can just stop the charging and then take the charging cable out of your car. And then just put it back into the Tesla supercharger. So as you can see, there are few more steps when charging your non-Tesla EV at a Tesla supercharger. But still, quite easy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And now you know how to use the Tesla supercharging network, whether you have a Tesla or a non-Tesla EV. And the Tesla superchargers are quite readily available in most countries. And they're quite fast as well. And if you like this video, check out my other content on my channel and consider subscribing because it really helps my channel grow. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. See you in my next video.